hello welcome back to another vlog it is currently friday i was actually originally going to take this week off from vlogging because i got back from my trip really really late monday night and then immediately just jumped right into working and taking clients the whole time i was away we were go 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 and I just haven't had like a day off to have time to myself, be alone, catch up on chores. So I'm just feeling a little run down and really looking forward to Sunday when I finally have my first day off. And yeah, I mean, it's just been one of those weeks where I'm just trying to get through, you know, doing the bare minimum. Like today is the first day where I finally washed my hair last night. I put a little bit of makeup on. So I was like, let me pull out the camera and start a vlog, why not? If you saw the last vlog, I told you guys I was going out of town for my friend's wedding. I didn't vlog any of the trip because I really just didn't even wanna have to worry about that. I wanted to fully be in the moment and just enjoy it. And I'm so glad I did because I had such an amazing time. Like it was such a good trip. And then it was really hard leaving too because my boyfriend and I are long distance and we spent a lot of time together the last several months. Like he was down here staying with me for the majority of the summer and then I saw him beginning of September, saw him just now beginning of October. But now I don't think we're gonna see each other until December, which is gonna be hard. So it was like, you know, when you know, oh, okay, I'm gonna see you in a few weeks. It still sucks, but at least it's like, you know, it, it, it it's soon enough. But now having to go like two and a half months before I can see him again, it's hard. It was really, it sucked. It sucked coming back because like I was excited to get back and get back to work and get back to my dog and all of that. But I'm like, I wish you could come with me, but he's almost done with school. He'll be done in December. And then he's moving down here and at least there's like that relief in knowing like this is the last time that we're gonna have to say goodbye to each other I'm just hoping that like this season goes by fairly quickly and I'm sure it will I feel like it always does and I know I'm about to I mean I've been busy already at work and I know I'm about to just get even busier as we approach the holiday season. But yeah, that's the update. That's what I've been up to since the last vlog. Oh, I also cut my extension. So I wanted to keep them as long as possible just for the wedding and for that trip. It's just fun to have super long hair. But I was like, this is just, it's a lot. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. It just feels like unmanageable. Like it just gets caught in everything and it's just like, it's very overwhelming. So we cut a few inches off of them. So it's still like long-ish, but I just, I like this length a lot better. It just feels like more manageable. I washed it last night and let it air dry. And then I just touched up a couple spots with like a one inch curling iron. But for the most part, this is just like air dried natural. And I love these extensions because the curl pattern of them matches my natural texture pretty well, so. It's like super easy to just air dry and go. But I am about to be at the salon soon, so I'll see you when I get there and let you know what we have on the agenda for today. I'm just gonna put away oh, all my clean stuff I left out to dry last night. So I have three clients coming in today. First two are new. Um, the first one's actually just coming in for a consultation. And then the second one is coming in for like a custom color. She has blonde hair already and just wants something that's a little more lived in and is gonna be like more low maintenance and natural looking. And then my last one is a haircut and she's one of my regulars. So it should be a pretty short easy day oh and by the way here is my outfits just some plain black leggings and then i got this shirt when i was up in pennsylvania um at the abercrombie outlet it's from the men's section and i got it in an extra large i just you know sized up so that it would be super long and baggy and then these are my target loafer whatever mules that's what they're called 
super comfy. Yes. And here's how the extensions look. Shorter. Collection stuff. <laughs> yeah, no it is. <laughs> Literally. Good morning. It's the next day. I don't typically work Saturdays, at least not every week. I try to do like maybe two Saturdays a month or so just to get in the clients that need Saturday appointments because of their work schedule during the week. But I also have always worked Saturdays my whole entire career so far. And it's nice to have a normal weekend if you can when you're in the beauty industry. So I told myself when I got my suite and opened my own business that I was going to not force myself to work Saturdays every single week. And it's been really nice actually. And normally if I am gonna work a Saturday, I will just block out one of my weekdays. So that way I'm still only doing four days a week in the salon and then that way I can have one full dedicated day to doing YouTube stuff and social media and whatnot. This week I am at the salon five days, so I've been trying to kind of like juggle YouTube editing a little bit here and there at night. It's been a lot. It's been a tiring week, a long week. I'm looking forward to just getting it over with, but I'm currently getting ready. I decided I'm gonna just keep it simple and easy. I just have two clients and both clients are returning clients. Not that that matters, you know, we should still treat our regulars with the same excitement as we treat new clients, you know? But if I know I'm not making a first impression with somebody, I'm like, eh. Obviously I'm gonna make sure the experience and the appointment itself is like really good and I'm gonna give it my full effort, but I'd rather put my energy into like their hair and their appointment and the experience than like doing my makeup. Keeping the outfit simple and comfy, threw on a hat. That way it kind of covers my face so I don't have to worry about putting on makeup and I don't have to worry about doing anything with my hair. So it's a win-win. But I was about to put on my perfume for the day and I wanted to share some of the new fragrances that I received recently from Scentbird. And thank you so much to them for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. If you're unfamiliar with Scentbird, they are a fragrance subscription service. They have tons of different fragrances on their website to choose from. Perfumes, colognes, unisex scents, all different kinds of brands from bigger, more well-known designer brands to maybe some lesser known brands. No matter what your preferences are, there is most likely going to be something on Scentbird for you. And what's cool is every month you receive your fragrance in this 30-day supply bottle, which I love because not only are you getting a good amount of fragrance to try on yourself, because we all know, even if you go in a store and you spray a fragrance on yourself to test out at least for me I feel like sometimes I need to wear it multiple days to really be able to tell if I'm gonna like it how it mixes with my natural pheromones how long it lasts all of that so you get a decent amount and also these small bottles are so convenient to just throw in your bag or bring with you when you travel they also have these cases that just like magnetically lock into place and they're super easy to lock your fragrance. That way, if you are throwing it in your bag, you don't have to worry about it spilling. And then you just turn it to unlock it and then it sprays right out. So this month I got Fugazi Orange Crush, which has orange, transparent wood, and white amber in it. Oh, it smells so good. It's like fresh, but a little bit warm at the same time. I also got Maker Wild, which has Italian bergamot, velvety peach, tuberose absolute, jasmine, and white sandalwood. This one's a little bit more floral than what I would normally go for, but I still kind of like it. It's just, it's different than what I typically would wear. But that's what's so cool about Scentbird is, I mean, and that's really the whole point is you get to try different things. Now this one is right up my alley. This is Goldie by Steve Madden. This is Italian bergamot, jasmine, gardenia, sandalwood, and amberwood. This is like the perfect combination of like a little bit floral, but still those like deeper, warmer notes that 
I normally really like. Mm, so I think this is what I'm gonna go with today. So if you would like to try out Scentbird for yourself, you can scan this QR code or click the link down in my description and use my code to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird. And thank you so much again, Scentbird, for sending me these fragrances and sponsoring portion of this video. So yeah, like I said, I have two clients today. The first one, I actually haven't seen her at all in my new space yet. She was like one of the last clients I did at my old salon right before I left. She's just due for a touch up. And then my second client is just getting a root touch up. So that should be pretty quick and easy. I start at 10, I should be done with everything like cleaning and everything and be heading out of there by three. So not bad, a quick five hour day. So I will see you at the salon. <laughs> Oh my God, I just survived Trader Joe's on a Saturday. It's right down the street from my salon, so I usually will stop there because it's so convenient, but wow. There is literally a line of cars going out the parking lot because there's just not enough parking spots. That's how packed it is. And you know, if you've been to a Trader Joe's, like usually the parking lots are pretty small, the store is pretty small, the aisles are pretty narrow, like, it's just crazy and I just had a couple things that I wanted to get so I was trying to just be in and out. So I'm heading home now finally. It is 325, not bad. I am starving so I can't wait. I'm gonna make this mushroom chicken that I have been looking forward to all week. So I'll show you when I get home. Okay, I'm about to make dinner so you need some chicken breasts. I actually have these like chicken tenderloins, cream of mushroom soup. I usually do onions, did not realize I don't have any onions, but I am gonna add some garlic to it, butter, um, spaghetti or rice or whatever you wanna have with it on the side, and then mushrooms, of course, and then these are the seasonings. I just do salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and then Italian seasoning. Got the water going for my pasta. Put my butter in there. And then once the butter all melts and this heats up, I'm gonna throw the chicken in there and then season it. Okay, now that the chicken is cooked, I'm gonna add in that garlic. And if I had onions, I would put some onions in there now too. My mushrooms. I was like, oh, why is my water not coming to a boil yet? Like it should at least be getting close at this point. I had never turned the burner on, so it's finally on now. <laughs> I'm gonna let this cook down a little bit more for like another couple minutes, just for like the garlic and onion or not onion, the garlic and mushrooms to, you know, release all that flavor. And then I'm gonna take the cream of mushroom soup and pour it in there, put the lid on, and then I'm just gonna let it simmer until the pasta is ready. Yeah, you're resume season seven, episode eight. Say hi to my vlog. Hello. Oh, my hair is gonna look weird. <laughs> Oh, wave again. <laughs> I never... 
I was just attempting to curl my hair and I never turned the curling iron on. Whoops. I think that is a sign I need to have some caffeine first. Okay, let's try this again. Sorry I did not vlog the last couple of days. I just really needed those days to myself. Because like I said, since I had got back from my trip the beginning of last week, I just did not have any time to rest and get caught up on things I needed to do. So Saturday night after I got home from work, I just chilled the whole day. Sunday and Monday were sort of the perfect, like, relaxing rest days that still managed to be productive. I got computer work done. I cleaned my apartment, got all of my laundry done. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't put the clean laundry away yet. My suitcase is still laying out on my floor. So I haven't like technically fully unpacked, but we're getting there. And I just feel so good. Like this morning I had no trouble waking up and I'm excited to start a new week. So today I have three clients coming in. The first one, I did her hair like a couple months ago. She's just coming in for a face frame foil. So we're just gonna touch up around her hairline in the front and her money piece, and then just re-gloss her hair. Then my second client is just coming in for a consultation. My third client is coming in to get her highlights touched up. I do though have a big gap so after my first client, but it's fine because I have a really busy week coming up and I need to go to salon centric. That's my day. I will see you at the salon. My client should be here any minute, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day. This top is from Cider. Skirt is from... Oh my god, why am I blanking? Where is the skirt from? H&M, maybe? Oh, actually, no, I found it at a local boutique in downtown Wilmington. And then the shoes are Doc Martens. So, I just finished my first client and I posted the picture I took of her hair on Instagram and my consultation canceled. That's totally fine because I only had like 15 minutes blocked out so it doesn't make a huge difference. So now it's almost one o'clock. I don't have my next client, which is also my last one, until three. So we have two hours to kill. I honestly was kind of contemplating just going home, but I know if I go home, I'm gonna have a hard time leaving and coming back. Plus I have errands I need to run either way, so I'm just gonna do that. So we are going to stop at salon centric first. Then I want to run to Walmart because I placed an order on Amazon for, I, I had been thinking about doing this like ever since I opened, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I really want to, you know, have like some refreshments to offer my clients. In the building, we have water bottles and like some sodas and we have a Keurig and teas and things like that to offer our clients which is great um but i also just thought it would be nice to just get like some snacks that i could keep in there and also get some wine especially because at the last salon that i was at she had mimosas and wine and beer and a bunch of stuff most of my clients when i ask them if they want anything they most of them say no so i feel like the wine is not gonna get used very much but i do just want to have it to offer in case like one time somebody did ask me if I had wine and I didn't so if I get like a big bottle obviously that's just gonna go bad but I'm thinking if I get like the little single serving mini bottles that would be good that way it doesn't go to waste so yeah I want to go get those at Walmart so yeah let's uh, try to kill two hours <laughs>
Okay, I am back. Obviously, that was perfect because it's 2.30 now, so I still have 30 minutes before she gets here. Here is the wine stuff I got at Walmart. This four pack, see what I mean about like the little baby wine bottles? It's like, you know, one or two-ish servings. So I got Pinot Grigio, and then they didn't have the individual bottles of red wine, but I did see this. Cabernet. It says this is supposed to be three glasses of wine. And then I also got these individual cans of rosé. And not bad, like each individual serving comes out to like under two dollars each. I mean, unless they're like trying to throw back multiple glasses, but <laughs> it's not like it's a huge extra expense for me. I brought these from home. I have these glasses, how cute, and these are plastic, which is really nice, so I don't have to worry if it falls, you know, don't have to worry about it breaking. I had got a set of these from World Market on clearance, and I just had them at home. I love them so much, but it's not often that I have a whole bunch of people, and I have so many different kinds of wine glasses and stuff at home. And I'm not over here like throwing parties regularly or anything. So I was like, I could just take two of those and bring them to the salon. And then as far as everything I got at Salon Centric. <laughs> uh, so I got a few Kenra products. I am running very low on my lightweight hairspray. I've been using the Verb, the Verb Ghost Spray. I really like this stuff a lot. I love the whole ghost line, but they were all out of this. I feel like in general, anytime I go and look in the Verb section, they are very sold out. So it's popular, I guess. But I also love Kenra styling products. So I just got their Light Hold Hairspray. I also got this color maintenance thermal spray. I have this at home. I really like this. This is good. Like say you are heat styling hair, you're curling it. I will spray this on the hair first. It gives a little bit of hold, but it also gives heat protection. And then I got some more of the Kenra volume dry shampoo because I'm almost out of that. And then these are some of the colors that I got on clearance. These Joyco Lumishine permanent colors. I got 7AA, an ash dark blonde, which could be perfect for low lights, especially if I need to neutralize warmth, which I've been doing a lot of that lately. Then I also got these on clearance, L'Oreal Dia. These are just like warm, neutral, level four and level seven. Again, I thought these would be good for low lights. This is demi-permanent cream color. And then these were also clearance. These were 80 cents each, which is literally perfect because I have a client that I did last week. She wanted to do a dark red violet. And she texted me today saying that it's just like a little bit brighter and more red than what she wanted. So she just wants to like tone it down a little darker and just add more violet. So this is literally perfect. It's demi-permanent liquid color violet with the violet booster. And this is from Pulp Riot. I've never tried their liquid demis before, but I have used their cream like fashion colors and I love. Then I got two packets of Malibu CPR. This is gold to me. This is what I use for color removers if I want to pull out and fade permanent color but i want to do it in a really gentle way that's not going to shift the natural base this is like for all of my color corrections anytime i have someone that has a lot of artificial colors especially if it's box dye and they want to go lighter or change it up this is always like the first step so i needed more of that and then i just got a bunch of l'oreal and noah permanent colors everything else in here is redkin shades eq which is the gloss that i use so these liquid demi permanent colors i just got a whole bunch the ones that i use the most that i definitely needed to restock on is 9gi 9v i've really really been liking 9m recently it's like the perfect just sandy 
neutral blonde and then i use 8gi a lot as well so i got a few of those 9p 8wg 6nch yeah that's everything i got i'm gonna put this stuff away really quick and i will show you my client's hair when she gets here Let's see yeah Oh, that is the best when you come home and it smells fresh and clean. <laughs> I love a clean apartment. And I had an Amazon package waiting for me. And I'm super excited about this stuff. So I got another box of these whitening strips. I purchased these once before a few months ago and they are amazing like seriously if you've been looking for some good whitening strips that don't make your teeth sensitive you have to get these from amazon i'll link them down below they're ten dollars and you get 14 strips but i cut them in half horizontally and just place them on the front of my teeth rather than like wrapping them around so you get double the amount of strips since i'm such like a heavy coffee drinker I like to use them once in a while for maintenance, you know, just to make sure I'm not letting my teeth get stained. And then especially before like a particular event or something like the wedding that I went to a couple weeks ago, I did these that weekend. My teeth were super, super white and bright for the wedding. And these are made with coconut oil. So they have kind of like a nice coconutty taste to them too. Then I got this, honestly, is it just me or like this kind of looks like a, a sex toy? No, but it is a facial scrubber. I went and got a facial and she did lymphatic drainage and a whole bunch of amazing stuff. I didn't really know what to expect, but next time I go, which my next appointment is in a couple months from now, I am definitely going to vlog it and share with you guys because, oh my God, it was one of the most amazing experiences ever. Like it was so much more than just a facial. It was incredible, but she used this. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same one that she has because she told me she got it on Amazon. So yeah, it just has these silicone bristles and it just vibrates and just you know helps get your cleanser in there so she recommended that i get one because i really liked when she was using this on my skin i was like oh yeah that's nice so got one of those i'm super excited i'm gonna charge that so i can use it tonight when i wash my face then she also recommended that i get omega-3 supplements and then lastly i got this sound machine because again when i was getting my facial she had her sound machine going in addition to playing like just really nice soothing music and it was so relaxing and i was like "Ooh, i need this i've kind of been having a hard time like winding down at the end of the night and i have my colored lights that like help set the mood and i'll usually have a cup of tea and some magnesium i thought a sound machine just helps set the vibes even more so i'm gonna put all this stuff to charge and I'm gonna take Benny out for a bathroom break and then we can make dinner together. Okay, tonight I'm making salmon. So I always cook in the air fryer because it's just so fast and easy and it comes out delicious. So I just do a drizzle of olive oil on top and then some salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. I normally add a little bit of cayenne on top as well, but I am all out of that at the moment. Actually, I could do, let's do some crushed red pepper and some soy sauce. This is the less sodium one, otherwise I wouldn't have added any salt in the first place, but this one's not too salty. And this is gonna go in I do 400 for like 10 to 15 minutes. Let's do like 
let's do 13 and then I will crank it up like the last couple minutes I'll go up to the highest heat just for like a minute or two just to make sure it gets nice and like crisp on the outside and then I have my white rice cooking and I'm gonna do these stir fry veggies which when I got my groceries the last time I did a delivery so I did not realize I wasn't paying attention I didn't realize this was such a huge bag but it comes with these sauce packets there's two pouches and it says to cook half the bag at a time like one pouch obviously is for half the bag so I am gonna cook these up in a little bit as well and that's gonna be my dinner Okay, here is the salmon and the veggies. So I'm about to wash my face and use the facial brush. It says that it has four different modes. There is a low speed vibration for a gentle cleanse, pulsating vibration for a deep cleanse, massage for a gentle massage, or mode four is massage and cleanse for deep massage and cleanse. That sounds lovely. So I think I'm gonna do mode four. It says to apply your cleanser to the unit. Wet your face and then apply the cleanser to this. Let's see. Mode one, two, three, four. Okay. I was wondering if this automatically turns off by itself the way like an electric toothbrush does or you know some of them do because like especially with my toothbrush I love that because then I know that I'm brushing for the right amount of time but this has to hold down the power button to turn it off so I'm guessing it doesn't turn off by itself but I was taught that you should cleanse for about a minute oh that feels nice like it really felt like my cleanser got in there more so than when I just work it in with my hands. All right, let's go set up the sound machine and see how that is. I just plugged it in. The first one is brown noise. Then we have pink noise, blue noise, white noise, soft fan, Household fan, industrial fan, big fan, rain on yard. That sounds nice. Heavy rain. Ooh, with thunder. Rain on window. Stream in the cave. Brook. River, gentle sea wave, mighty sea wave, little sea wave, singing birds, campfire, and train. Interesting. I don't think I would find that relaxing to listen to personally. But I love the brown noise, the fan, the rain, the stream, all the water sounds. And you can set a timer for it. And it has a memory feature, so it will, the next time you turn it on, it will remember the volume level and which track and the timer and all of that that you had set it for. And this was... At least when I bought it, it was less than $20, and it's nice and compact. Um, a lot of the reviews were saying that it's super easy to travel with. I will link all of that stuff down below if you want to get any of it. But I'm going to go back to the couch. I have the Halloween colored lights on. I have the Amazon Smart Bulbs, which I love. I turn these on every night, and you can do any color of the rainbow. So yeah, I did orange and purple for spooky season and I love it. Like look at the, look at my ceiling. Isn't that gorgeous? 
Oh, uh, obsessed. I'll link those light bulbs down below as well. And it's funny because it's one of those things that I used to think was so silly, like, who cares? And like colored lights, like that's so tacky. But I'm telling you, it really sets a vibe. I love putting these on at night and now with my sound machine when I'm getting ready to go to sleep later, it's gonna be so good. I am gonna finish watching this movie. I started watching this last night, Judy, about Judy Garland. There's like 20 minutes left. And it's about 8 o'clock now, so honestly, <laughs> once this movie's over, I'm probably going to hop in bed. I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check the description for my link and discount code to Scentbird. Thank you so much again to them for sponsoring a portion of this vlog. And I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye. Bye.